Oh, hey. This is a review I just recorded, but guess what? The footage wasn't there. So now I'm gonna do it again. You don't get to see me ripping open the packages though this time. I said so many funny things. I remember when I recorded this video last night. Put everything away. What's gonna be really fun is to remember which accessories went with who. I'm mailing these out to a friend. I just reviewed them and packed them up. Little did I know. Okay, I might need some glasses for this. Today we're gonna look at five Star Trek Playmates figures. Two are next generation, one is Voyager, and one is Deep Space Nine. And then, I don't know why he's on this card. I think he's next generation too, but I'm not sure. It's the War Factor series. Um, the first figure we're looking at is Captain Benjamin Sisko. This is what his- whoa! This is what his figure looks like. Claymates makes awesome toys. Got lots of articulation. See how it twists right there, right in the bicep? And then he bends at the elbow. No twists on the wrist. Head does move. They sit down like dolls where their legs spread open like this. Bottom of his foot has his code on it. And there are bends at the knees too, which looks kind of strange when you're sitting them down. But I like his traditional outfit. I do not know why he is in just a standard Star Trek card. This is the other characters that were available with this series. Oh, it shows me his accessories that come with it. Oh, it even names them. But he came with an awesome logo stand, which I totally wish they would incorporate some kind of pin on it so you could wear it, because does that not look awesomely awesome cool? And the accessories he came with, if I'm not mistaken, were these two little wormy, fuzzy, I'm calling them troubles. I don't know what they are. Maybe I'm right. Maybe that's from Masters of the Universe. Maybe that's from the original Star Trek. I remember these furry things attacking them, little furry balls. I think they were troubles. Truffles. And then he comes with this like space Egyptian sun god urn thing that's kinda really really awesome. Love that one. He came with the painted communicator, which the detail in this blows my mind and how much it looks like a communicator. I guess there's not as much detail on the back. And he can hold it in his hand. So the accessories are really funny. Sometimes they paint them and sometimes they don't. See how those came in a different color? Should I look up what they're actually called? Maybe they are called Tribbles. I can't even read it. I could put on my glasses, I suppose. Tribbles. It was really close. Oh, and then he comes with an iPad. Which it's great that they knew that iPads were going to be around so commonly in the future, when they made the show. Okay, let's move on to the next generation figures. Will Wheaton, we'll do him. Is it Will Wheaton? Because I don't know if it is or not. What did I do with the cards? There's collector cards that come with these. I have to track those down. This guy didn't come with a card. It's kind of simpler and it was, yeah, I guess maybe newer than the other ones. I really like the cards. Every toy should come with like a collector card and that could be the identifying thing. All of the cards could be the same with the same cross cells on the back. They don't have to put the name on it. They could save all the printing costs and then they can make an additional card with stats and everything on it. Okay, let me show you Will Wheaton's, even though I'm not even sure because this doesn't really look like him. I guess he's pulling a face. Cadet Wesley Crusher, and the likeness is not so good on this figure, especially if it is Will Wheaton. And he's got this extra pouch on his hip. They're all black and shiny, so the contrast is really hard to show, but this is rotatable. And I assume it's to hold his cell phone, because it is the only thing, his communicator, but it looks like a flip phone. And it's not painted. The only way to get it into the pouch is if you put it upside down, because the right side up doesn't fit. You just gotta really squeeze it in there. So it's kind of strange that he comes with that. And I tried all of his other accessories. Comes with this man bag. 
It's got the logo on it, the emblem. And he came with a phaser with the beam coming out already and it's in silver. I never looked to check if the stuff was on the back, but I kind of like making up my own names and descriptions for the accessories, but it actually tells you. And then it comes with this thing, which doesn't make any sense to me either because it looks like a mini computer with his lunch in the back or something on this kind of weird stand thing. It looks like a laptop when I show you, but next to him, it's the tiniest laptop you ever did see. So I don't know what that thing would be and why it's all collected in one collection. I'm not gonna read it and find out what it is. But I am gonna watch the shows on Netflix, I think, because they're there. And The Next Generation is a great place to start. I'd like to watch the original Star Trek though again, and that is my favorite series. That's what I grew up watching. And I believe I did watch the other series, I just don't remember. I might have blocked it out. It might have been too traumatic for me. All right, so that's all of his accessories. And he comes with a stand that has his name on it. And I never understood why they put their names right there. You're either hiding it by standing in front of it. You can't even read it facing yourself because it's upside down. So that's bizarre. And then if you turn it around so the person looking at the front of it can read it, he's standing on his name. So you can't see it that way either. So it's kind of bizarre how they do those with the stands. All right, next generation guy. Oh, the guy with the receding hairline. I went on and on about that when I did this review a few hours ago. Oh! He comes with the best accessories. He is the winner of that. Oh, did I show you that Wesley has statistics on the back of his collector card? And this guy's name is Q, and I don't remember, is he a robot? Because that's kind of like a robot name, if I ever heard a robot name. There are height differences to these figures, and he might be some kind of giant robot man because he is the size of, like, the Terminator. His legs are extra long. Same articulation as all the rest. He's wearing the burgundy suit, just like three of them that we have today. So yeah, yeah, that's his figure, and his stand is right here. Again, it has the same problem, but it would look fantastic as a emblem on your shirt. Stick him there. Yeah, best accessories, hands down. It comes with this staff scepter thing, which is really, really quite cool. Unless, of course, it's a baseball bat, because he also came with this meteor, I believe it is, or a planet. And yeah, it looks like he can totally play ball with these two. I don't know if that's intentional. And he comes with the Enterprise, which is amazing. A little model duplicate, whoa, of the Enterprise. It's purple, it's a strange color for it to be. It came with my favorite accessory out of all of these. It's the money, it's the gem, whoa. It's the money, it's the gems, it's the jewels. I don't know what element this is, but it's a translucent, beautiful crystal of some sort and yeah, awesome, and I would love to keep this for myself. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, next we have from Voyager, Commander Chakotay. He's like Maori or something. I thought it was a birthmark when I was looking at the toy. I didn't actually know that it was a design, yes, but up close you can see he might be Maori. I don't know. He looks awesome. He has a tattoo on his face, though. He managed to get himself a good job, despite having a tattoo on his face. He's got additional articulation that the others don't have. A thigh twists. It looks uncomfortable. There's the stamps on the bottom of the foot again, so you can see that number clearly. They always make a point of doing that. I guess because of Voyager, he has this special emblem. Again, looks great on the t-shirt. Stick him on there. Same name problems with it. They gave him a phaser too. They didn't paint it though, so the beam is the same color as the gun itself. It's kind of bizarre. All of these accessories have a blue-purple tone for some reason. And then he came with this, like, walkie-talkie kind of communicator. 
which I'm kind of upset that our cell phones never had more buttons and stuff on them like that. Kind of retro -y walkie talkie because all the buttons are in the screen. They didn't realize that that was going to happen. He comes with these binoculars. They're cool binoculars, if that's what those are. You kinda can fit it on, but I think it pops off. And then he came with, I don't know if it's a fossil, some kind of artifact. I don't know if that's hand-drawn, and then on the backside it's shiny. So yeah, I don't know if it's a trilobite, some kind of snail, or maybe it's just drawn on by indigenous planet dwellers. And then he comes with poison ivy which is kind of strange that he comes with these leaves. It might be his lunch, could be a salad, maybe he's vegetarian. Oh, maybe they're bugs. I just thought they were leaves. No, I think they're leaves. Interesting, interesting array of accessories. The back of his card you can't see because it's covered by some kind of mail-in giveaway. I wonder if I tried to send away for the free figures or whatever they're offering, that they would send me a Ninja Turtle. It's kind of Playmate's big toy right now. Check out my new Ninja Turtle reviews too. They're kind of awesome. They're not your traditional Ninja Turtles, but they're kind of cool. There's some propaganda that came with one of these figures. Now I don't remember who it was. Those are the Deep Space Nine crew, so I guess it came with my Deep Space Nine guy. Always fun to look at the propaganda. And then we have Gold Bucket. Oh, so yeah, this is the Deep Space Nine character now. Here's his stats. Maybe there's something there you want to read about Gull. His stand is extra, extra cool. Not like the traditional stands you see. And they put his name on the bottom, and it's a sticker. He's really cool. And he makes this almost an appropriate review for Halloween, because he kind of looks like Frankenstein. It's a cross between Aquaman and Frankenstein, I would say. He doesn't have the twists here, just like all the others. Only this guy, twisty thighs. But he looks really cool. I like his head, but yeah, he does look like Frankenstein and Aquaman. And he's got giant hands, as you can see. You can also see that he stands taller. These two guys, super tall. And weapons, 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 weapons. This guy is evil. He comes with this laser machine gun of some sort. I'm not even sure which way it shoots. It's got to be a laser gun. And then this... I think it shoots this way too. I'm not sure which direction. It was always a huge problem with the original Star Trek. Their guns always saved them because they were pointing in the wrong direction. It always confused the enemies. And he also has this walkie-talkie kind of communication device. I want a cell phone that looks like a walkie-talkie. I like flip phones. I feel bad that we don't have flip phones anymore. They were really cool. It kind of made me feel like I was at a communicator. And then there's this thing, and for some reason, I think that this can fly. Whoa, it's got lots of detail on it. It just, whoa, whoa. It seems like something that would like float behind them and just follow them around. Or some kind of boomerang thing that you would throw and either hurt somebody with or plant it to eavesdrop on someone as like a surveillance kind of, I, I don't know what it is. Anyway, which one is your favorite? I guess I have to choose Frankenstein as my favorite. Yeah, I might do some more Star Trek. I was surprised. Some people actually liked the Star Trek video I did a while ago. I didn't know. These are very abundant figures. You can usually find them at toy shows, and there's lots of them. They were $5 each. Very affordable. They're really well made because Playmates makes amazing toys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Did I show you the back of these cards? Uh-huh. Yeah. I guess I didn't show you. Some of these I showed you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as the lines grew, they added more and more figures to the back. Look, there's like little... Is that a bio card that you can collect? Gotta love those. There's a lot of writing there. What's going on there? Now can I put these away?
Oh yeah, I didn't go over who we were, who we were going to review. That's really funny. It's like a giant surprise. I have to insert something after I'm done this. Kind of remind me. Oh, here, I'll record it right now. We're going to look at... Where was I? Oh, I was at the guy with the receding hairline. Q. The Balding Robot.